okay students now let's solve this particular problem in this problem it is said that determine the y coordinate of the centroid of the shaded area so again we are given this area and we are required to determine the y coordinate of the centroid of the shaded area right so for that what we do is that we apply the principle of moment equation right so i will write y bar so y bar is the coordinate of the centroid of this given shaded area right and this will be multiplied by area and this will be y c d a right so determine uh, to determine or to apply this equation first we have to select a differential area right so let's say that this is my differential area which is located at a distance of x right so let's say that uh, that this distance is x So this distance is x let me write it in black right so this is x and let's say that uh, this length is let's say y2 right and let's say that this differential element is located at a distance of y1 this lower edge of this differential area is at a distance of y1 from this x axis is right and yc is the distance of the centroid of this differential element from the x-axis is right so the centroid of this differential element is let's say located somewhere here that is the geometric center of this rectangle right so then this length is yc right this is yc this black one is yc so now from this uh, we can say that this da will be equal to so this length the height of this differential area will be y2 minus y1 so i will write y2 minus y1 and the the width of this differential area is dx right so this is dx so i will multiply this with dx so here uh, this x as a function of y is given right so the this curvature is given as a function right so this x as a function of y is given right so this means that if this length is y2 if this length is y2 so this means that this is the equation of y2 right so we can say that this means that x is equal to y2 square divided by b right so from this we can write that y2 is equal to b into x and we can take square root right so from this we can write that y2 is equal to square root b into square root x right so we can write it like this or we can say that this is y2 is equal to this thing right and similarly we have to find this y1 is a function of x right this y2 is also a function of x right as we go along this x so y2 increases right and similarly as we go along this uh, x axis so y1 increases as well right so y2 and y1 both are the function of x right so now we can find this y1 if we consider uh, this triangular area right so if we let me draw a triangle here right let's say that we have this triangle right so the height of this triangle is uh, from here to here this is b right so this as we can see that uh, this whole area is squared area right this length is b and this length is b right so this uh, here it is given that this edge of this shaded area is b divided by 2 so this means that the height of this triangle is b divided by 2 right and the base of this uh, triangle is b right and similarly if i consider one another triangle here right the let me remove this first right so if i draw a line here so we have this one another triangle right so this is that y1 and this length from here to here this length is x right and this whole length is b right let me represent that right so this whole length is b this is b right and the base of this small triangle is x right so now we have two triangles one large triangle and one small triangle right so now uh, from this if we apply the properties of similar triangles so we can say that 
uh, y x divided by y1 we will take the ratios of the corresponding side right so base divided by this perpendicular it will be equal to this base b divided by this b divided by 2 right so b will cancel out so this will be 2 right so this is x divided by y1 since we are required to write this y1 as a function of x so we can write it this equation is y1 equals to x divided by 2 so this means that y1 is equal to x divided by 2 right so here i can write that y1 is equal to x divided by 2 and y2 is equal to this thing right so now if you want to find the area for uh, for this blue uh, portion so we can find that area by applying this equation right so i can write that da and y2 is this thing right so we can write it is square root b x to the power 1 divided by 2 minus y1 so y1 is x divided by 2 and this is into dx and the x value uh, x varies from 0 to b right so we have to integrate this from 0 to b right we have to add up the areas of all the differential elements from 0 to b from x value equals to 0 to b right so now we can integrate this so when we integrate this so this will be square root b x 1 divided by 2 plus 1 so this will be 3 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 2 minus x square divided by 2 into 2 and this is from 0 to b right and when we integrate this so this will give us the complete area right so we can write it as 2 divided by 3 so this is 2 divided by 3 and i can write this square root b as b to the power 1 divided by 2 and if i apply these limits so this will be b 3 divided by 2 minus b square divided by 4 so this will be 2 divided by 3 this will become b square if we add up uh, both, of, both of these powers right these exponents right so this is 2 divided by 3 b square minus b square divided by 4 so we can take b square common so this will be 2 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 4 so 2 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 4 so this gives us 5 divided by 12 b square so 5 divided by 12 b square so this shaded area is equal to 5 divided by 12 b square now once we know this area we can apply uh, this principle of moment equation right so i can write that this will be y bar times area and now we have to find yc right so this is yc so as we can see that this yc is equal to y1 right let me write yc this will be equal to y1 plus this distance right let me represent that this distance right so this distance will be y2 minus y1 divided by 2 right the height of this differential area divided by 2 right since this centroid is located at the geometric center of this differential area right so we can write it as y1 plus this will be y2 divided by 2 minus y1 divided by 2 so y1 minus y1 divided by 2 will be y1 divided by 2 plus y2 divided by 2 or we can say that this will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so this is yc so now i can write yc here as well right so this is y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and similarly da is y2 minus y1 into dx right similarly i can write this as y2 plus y1 right it doesn't matter the order doesn't matter right so y2 plus y1 and i can write this one divided by two outside of the integration so now we are left with this and this integration will be from zero to p so this is one divided by two we can write that this will become uh, y2 square minus one uh, y1 square 
dx right and this is from 0 to b so now one this is one divided by two from zero to b this is y2 so y2 square will be bx right so we can write this will be bx minus y1 is this thing right so y1 square will be x square divided by 4 right so i can write that this is x square divided by 4 into dx so when we integrate this so this will be bx square divided by 2 right so this is 1 divided by 2 bx square divided by 2 minus x cube divided by 4 into 3 so this will become 12 and this is from 0 to b so this is 1 divided by 2 if we apply these limits so this will be b into b square minus b cube divided by 12 this will also become b cube and we can take b to the power 3 common so this will become 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 12 so 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 12 so this is equal to 5 divided by 12 right so i can write that this is b to the power 3 divided by 2 into 5 divided by 12 or we can say that this will be equal to 5 uh, and 2 into 12 is 24 right and this is equal to y bar into area right and area is this thing right so i can write this area is 5 divided by 12 b square so this 5 will cancel out right this b square will cancel out so this will be y bar into 12 b divided by 24 this is this is 1 divided by 12 right so this is 1 divided by 12 so if we cross multiply so then this is y bar and this will be 12 b divided by 24 so this means that y bar is equal to b divided by 2 right so this means that uh, the centroid the y coordinate of the centroid of this uh, given shaded area is at a distance of b divided by 2 from the x axis is right so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution